All right, let's start with continuous thumb flips in the right hand. So what I'm looking for with these thumb flips are a nice continuous flow of the baton. I wanna see the baton go all the way over your right thumb. Um, and I wanna see it make one whole revolution. So if you were to toss thumb to ball and you did a whole flip, you would end thumb to ball. I don't care how fast you're going. I want to see a proper thumb flip happening and then the speed will come as the technique is mastered. So we should be doing a little something like this. Right hand thumb flips, ready, go. We should be doing these for about 30 seconds and really working on mastering that over the thumb flip. I don't want to see it fast, I want to see it correct. I'm not moving and my baton is staying in one spot. I'm not going left to right, left to right. So I want to make sure when doing those thumb flips, I'm turning my hand all the way over. I'm letting my baton roll all the way to this part of my thumb and I'm giving it a nice little push right here and giving it that one whole revolution. When I go to hit, when I go to catch it, I'm catching like I'm high-fiving, so I can go straight into the next one. So I'm going straight in to the next flip. All right, next we're doing them in the left hand. Same thing, continuous left hand thumb flips for 30 seconds. Not moving my feet, and this one's a little bit harder because most kids do the right hand, but same thing, continuous left hand thumb flips for 30 seconds. One whole revolution, catching on top of my baton. So I want to catch down on top of my baton to keep that revolution going. So your baton's going this way, you're catching on top to go right into the next one. As soon as we're done our left hands, we go front to back. So we're doing right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So when doing these, you wanna make sure you're doing your right hand thumb flip, you catch in the left. Continue that same revolution, that same motion around at the back. Same thing, left hand. Catching in the right, going down and around. You wanna make sure that baton maintains that continuous motion. Front to back, front to back. When I do it, I do it with my right foot forward and I'm going right pivot all right next we're going into flourishes we're doing right hand first I want to see 10 flourishes in the right hand when I do my flourishes my loops coming out here to the side I'm coming down and around loop to the side down and around and my loop is going behind my arm down to my side. So it's really important not to wiggle or get off pattern with your flourishes because then your thumb flips get off pattern. So I want to see 10 flourishes in the right hand. My loop out to the side. Trade hands. Whatever we do in the right, we do in the left. Same thing. 10 flourishes in the left hand, loop to the side, and I'm not wiggling. I gotta keep my shoulders straight to the front, my belly button straight to the front as I do my flourishes in one big continuous motion. All right, next we're working on our releases. So we've warmed up our thumb flips, we've warmed up our flourishes. Now let's put them all together and start doing some tricks. So what I wanna see you do is start with just a regular flourish, whip, toss, catch right up on your toes. Whenever you catch, you should be all the way up in susu, meaning up here. Look at my feet, back up a little bit. Look at my feet. When I catch my baton, my feet are in susu. So we start all the way up in susu, whip, toss, catch. Once we've done our right hand a couple of times, we move on to the catching in the left. So we're here, flourish, whip, toss, catch left hand. 
So that left hand toss is going to be underneath. We're not catching it on top this time. We're catching underneath just like this. So flourish, whip, toss. Whoops, that one got away. Flourish, whip, toss, catch left. One more time. Flourish, whip, toss, catch left. Don't forget, when you do your whips, you want your whip to go all the way behind your back. Hide your whip. Bring it back to your belly button and then do your toss. So my whip. Should look just like that from behind. All right, so we've done our left hand catches. So let's go to our backhand catches. When we do our backhand catches, our feet look just like this. My left foot is out here. My right foot is out in tandu. So I'm flourish, whip, toss, catch backhand. So I want to see everybody hit this position. Flourish, whip, toss, catch backhand. Next, let's go to on back. So we're here. We catch our baton with our left hand. We wrap our left hand behind our backs, just like this. When we catch, our right hand is all the way out here, and we should be up on our toes. So we're going. Flourish, whip, toss, whoops, toss, up here. Flourish, whip, toss, pull up. One more time so I can be cleaner. One, two, three, four. So that's where you should be. The final one is the most difficult one, but I know you can do it. We're going to catch blind. So when we do our catch blind, it's really important that you are turned here and your hand is up by your ear. Your feet should do a pivot turn. So my right foot is out. I pivot turn. I catch here. So we go. Flourish, whip, toss, and catch. One more time. Flourish, whip, toss, catch. Each of those skills should be done starting off individually, one at a time. I want to see you do just a toss, catch right, toss, catch left, toss, catch backhand, toss, catch on your back, and toss, catch blind. When you're done warming all those up, add a spin to it. Do a one spin when you're ready. Do a two spin when you think you're ready. If one spins are getting a little easy, go ahead and challenge yourself. Add that two spin. My advanced kids, you know who you are threes and fours. You should be doing three spins and four spins with those tosses and catches. Don't forget to be warming up your illusions. I am old. I'm not going to try it. So make sure you're doing your illusions both to the right and to the left. Do your needles to warm them up. When you feel confident with your illusion, make sure you add a toss. Why not? It's a time to try things and try new things. So stay safe, stay healthy. Parents, I hope my little warm-up video has helped you out. Let the kids do their 60 minutes of PE outside practicing baton. And that'll make Miss Kara a very happy person. All right, guys, stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. See ya.